Hi there, I'm Bill Wong, and I'm speaking with Paul Yost of Yost Engineering, and we're going to be finding out about uh, motion sensors and all sorts of neat little things. As a matter of fact, there's a little cube over here. Can you tell us about uh, that and uh, your company? Yeah, the cube is a kind of a fun demo of the what you can do with the motion sensing technology that essentially uh, what we've what we've done with the, the cube is taken the idea of being able to sense the orientation accurately and put it into something like a game format where people can experience the technology, what you can do with it in a more fun way. We also had the motion capture suit set up a little bit ago uh, where you could record the body position of anybody and it's kind of to show some of the more fun things you can do with the sensor, get people over to the booth, but there are a lot of serious uses for the technology as well. So, well, Great, can we take a look at the suit in action? Uh, yeah, sure. So could you tell us a little bit about uh, how the suit works and uh, you know, so on? Uh, the suit is essentially composed of a number of our attitude and heading reference systems, which essentially uh, are electronic devices that can sense their orientation in global terms. So it knows what its orientation is in space. Uh, and it can also be adjusted to know its orientation in relative terms. And so the idea is if you were to put those on the body of segments of uh, some sort of kinematic model, then any position they're in you can actually accurately track or extract their pose from that. And, and again, uh, that can be used for serious things like immersive simulation for military uses. It could be used on a robotic arm to know its position. It could be used in a lot of things other than the fun um, demo with Sam just having the thing track it. Uh, we also, it could also be used for performance um, kind of art applications. Uh, for example, a movie studio could outfit somebody in that and use that for making uh, capturing the motions of an actor uh, to then be later used for uh, film rendering purposes or something like that. So that's very neat in terms of uh, examples. Can you tell us a little bit about what's inside the module, how it actually operates? Okay, essentially what's inside the module is uh, a series of sensors. Uh, the primary sensors being a three-axis gyroscope, a three-axis accelerometer, and a three-axis magnetometer or compass module. And essentially what we do is we use the gyroscope for extracting uh, accurate motion data for very quick motions, and then the compass and the accelerometer are used to kind of remove drift that would occur in the gyroscope. So what we wind up with, again, is that highly accurate orientation that doesn't have any drift characteristics because the accelerometer and the magnetometer are used to remove that drift from that. So it knows its orientation again in uh, real terms. We combine with those sensing elements uh, a microcontroller running uh, out, uh, basically a Kalman filter, but with a Kalman filter with a lot of other uh, proprietary things added to it that then allow for compensating for magnetometer error, accelerometer uh, vibratory uh, error, and things like that. That then once the microcontroller is done with that. It has a puts out in a digital format the uh, orientation so people could use those in any kind of system that they were uh, designing that needs to have orientation. So it could be a, a UAV or a UGV or a robotic arm or a, a human being that you want to get performance characteristics from. It could be a Olympic sprinter or whatever. Um, a lot of applications for that those things. Anywhere you want to know the orientation or uh, um, direction something's facing that could be useful. So, Okay, essentially uh, this is the sensor. Uh, you'll notice the, the three sensing elements here. That's the gyroscope, uh, that's the magnetometer, that's the accelerometer. There's the microcontroller that's doing uh, all of the heavy lifting as far as the computational stuff. And one of the things about the sensor is it is that it does have that processing on board is it's self-contained. So you'll notice on our demo board there aren't any additional components that are necessary to get the accurate attitude and heading uh, reference information out of it. Essentially we have the module there mounted so it's easy to unplug or plug in and then we have a USB port uh, to communicate with it. And this, this is the module that has three different communications inter interfaces, SPI, uh, uh, TTL, UART, and USB all on that one board. So pretty much this can fit any uh, kind of system that somebody would want to use it in. What kind of interface does the module have and uh what kind of characteristics do you have in terms of performance? Um, we have a number of in, uh, we have a whole family of the sensor, so there are a number of different interfaces, all the way from our embedded module, which has uh, serial peripheral interface, uh, UART uh, kind of serial interface, and a USB interface, all the way up to we have several wireless modules that are 
fully self-contained, uh, battery-powered, rechargeable uh, that communicate over. There's a Bluetooth version. There's also a kind of proprietary 2.4 gigahertz wireless version um, that is a little bit high performance in Bluetooth because we can get rid of the overhead of the stack uh, with that. We also have a self-contained data logging version that logs the uh, information to a micro SD card. So if you want a really quick way to characterize the motion of something, you can slap one of those on, have it record the data, and then at the end of the day, uh, download the data and see, analyze it for whatever purposes you have. So the, the, the sensing platform is the same on all those, so it's kind of just whichever family member fits your needs, whichever family member best suits your application, we have that covered. And we, we've done custom versions as well uh, for certain clients that need it in a different packaging or different performance characteristics. So. Great. Well, if they'd like to find out more about the modules in your systems, where can they find you guys online? Um, probably the best place to go to easily get to these systems is uh, freespacesensor.com. So. Great. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you.